We have had a lot of hype for Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2 and the DMZ game modes. However, we haven't actually stopped to consider what if it fails? And this is a question that we do need to ask because it is a possibility. Unlikely? Maybe. Highly likely? Maybe. Time will tell. But the main question is, what would we do if it does fail? Because everyone's kind of just like in limbo at the minute. Streamers, professional players, even the casual player base just kind of just playing other things for the time being and just waiting to see if Modern Warfare 2 delivers on the promise of Modern Warfare 1 2019. So let's talk about it a little bit more. What if it fails? Will multiplayer again overtake? I doubt it. Now multiplayer has been part and parcel of the of the Modern Warfare franchise, of the Call of Duty franchise even, for the best part of, well, nearly 15, 16, what, 17 years now? Bloody hell, we are getting on. And, you know, I wouldn't say people are bored of it because they do change enough all the time, but it's not new anymore. It's not as exciting as it once was. Although incredibly fun, it's not what people are looking for, typically. So I don't think that multiplayer is going to have a massive influx again if it were to fail. It might have a little bit of an influx, of course, because people still want that Call of Duty experience, myself included. I personally actually really enjoy multiplayer. I would have this channel, I'd have this channel have its main content on multiplayer if I could, but... You know, that's just not the way the world works. So, Warzone days, to be fair, Warzone has its qualities too. But, yeah, if Warzone fails, um, I think Apex will hold its player base. I think Apex is currently holding a lot of temporary players, if that makes sense. It's holding on to a lot of, a lot of people who are waiting to see if Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2 is any good. As a lot of the players in Apex now are currently people that came off Warzone around the Cold War slash Vanguard era. And, yeah, they're waiting to see if that happens. Now, I think these casual players, these these players in limbo, these players that are, that are temporarily in the Apex space, they might become permanent in the Apex space if Modern Warfare 2 fails. And, yeah, it's going to be going to be an interesting one to see what goes on there. But will people go on to the new game mode? If Warzone 2 fails, will people... Will people go on to a different game mode, like the DMZ game mode? It looks like a very interesting one, and to be honest, I'll be very interested to give that a bash. Especially if there's more kills on a bigger map and a bigger scale, like, that's what I'm all about. So, yeah, there is that aspect of it to consider as well. Now, in that regard, will... If Warzone fails, it will be because something's better than it, hopefully. If Warzone fails because the game is absolutely dismal, I can't see people playing the DMZ mode over it if the core gameplay is absolutely dismal. However, I do have hope because of the success and the, um, what do you call it, the innovation of of the original Modern Warfare 2019 game, even though it's not the original, but you get the point, the reboot. So there is that to, to take into consideration as well. But do I think it will fail? Do I really? No. I think it... I don't think it'll hit the same peak it did in 2020. And that's purely because in 2020, everybody was out of work. Everybody was getting furloughed. It was in the middle of the bug crisis. And, you know, most people's places of work just weren't open. So there was higher levels of the player base. And that was probably what played a part in the peak. Ignore my phone there. That was me, not you. Don't worry. And that is something that we're going to consider as well. I don't think we're going to see that number again. I do think we will see good high numbers. And to be fair, even if Warzone 2 fails, I still think it's going to hold a huge player base compared to other games. I really do. COD's always done that. Even Infinity Warfare or Infinite Warfare, that was it. That was considered a flop, but that still had millions of players. So, you know, it's it's one of those, isn't it? What What is failure? What defines failure? Is failure a bad game? Is failure like dwindling numbers? Well, is failure just not making enough money, which technically it would be. So there is that to always consider as well. But I don't think it's going to... Those are the three metrics for failure. Financial, player base, and a bad game. I mean, people will play a bad game. Like, you know, you see it all the time. Like, Fallout... Was it Fallout New Vegas, was it? Like, that was a pretty rough game. And people still played that. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's that. The, the, PUBG, it was a fun game. It was... A good game but it wasn't a technically good game if that makes sense like as, as in terms of the graphics in terms of in terms of like you know bugs and all that kind of stuff so it technically wasn't a complete game but that wasn't considered a failure even though you could say that the level even though it was like a beta but whatever we're well, not a beta but you know what i mean so 
there is that uh, it's one of these things isn't it like what, what what's a failure i don't think it's a failure if it has bad numbers i don't think it's a failure if it is not making the money i think it's a failure if it's a fundamentally bad game because there's no excuse for it to be and that'll, yeah, that'll cause failure but what do you guys think do you think it'll sink do you think think it'll swim let me know in the comments below and let's talk about it